Hello everyone. I'd like to go over a quick overview of this course and your assignments for week one. So first of all, let's check your email. You can see the course mail here um, on your homepage and you can also go to your inbox by the communicate tab at the top and view your inbox that way. By Monday night, you will see a welcome email from me here. Um, I have no emails yet, so that's blank, but you will see that by Monday night. Make sure you get that so I know that we're communicating properly. Under the calendar tab, you will see the due dates for your um, quizzes and your discussions. So your first discussion post will be due on Wednesday night. The reply will be due Saturday night. On Thursdays, you'll notice we have residential class each week at 3 o'clock and you'll have a quiz each week with the exception of week one, obviously. Uh, you'll also have a course project that we'll talk about later and the first due date is the 19th. Don't worry about that quite yet, we'll talk about that in class. Under the lessons tab you will find your assignments. The PowerPoints for the lectures can be found here, um, chapter by chapter. Under module one, which is essentially week one, you will see the objectives listed here. The textbook reading, which I'm going to click on, because I want to show you something here. You will be able to access your textbook through this link. It will bring you to a new page and you will uh, be able to read through the chapters. Please ignore all of this yellow text. It does not necessarily pertain to our class and I am sorry I can't remove it, but that's just the way it is. So please ignore that and only use this page to access your textbook. If we go back to module one, you will see that there are a couple pages of information for you to look through, an outline with study questions that is only for your, um, for your own good. It's nothing that you'll ever need to turn in. Um, but I definitely recommend that you do it on your own. The discussion post and the quiz. If you've never done a discussion post, this is what it looks like. You'll open the page. It'll give you a quick paragraph of what you need to complete. So you'll read through this. This week is about homeostasis. Your assignment is to give two examples of factors that keep the body in balance and make sure you're reading through all of the instructions. You do need to provide um, citations for this. So when you make your new post, here's the little box to do it. Click on new post. You will write the title of your post here. You could title that whatever you'd like to. You'll write your post within this little text box and you will have to write your citations at the end. Always make sure you're using citations. At the bottom of the page you'll hit submit and then that will post to the board. Let's talk about citations quickly under the resources tab. The APA citation online guide is perfect for helping you. If you used a book, an article, a web page, whatever type of reference you were using, you can click on that and it'll show you exactly how to write this in APA format. So if there's a web page with an author, a web page without an author, and so forth. And you can always go back and um, look through these different types of resources. All right, let's go back to our class page. Under uh, the bottom of every page, you will find the number for the Rasmussen Personal Support Center. Please call that first if you're having any kind of technical issue with the course. They will be able to help much more than I can. Uh, that being said, please feel free to contact me at any time, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.